A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord said to Abram, leave your country, your family, and your father's house for the land I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name so famous that it will be used as a blessing. I will bless those who bless you. I will curse those who curse you. All the tribes of the earth shall bless themselves by you. So Abram went as the Lord told him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. Abram took his wife Sarah, his nephew Lot, all the possessions they had amassed, and the people they had acquired in Haran. They set off for the land of Canaan and arrived there. Abram passed through the land as far as Shechem's holy place, the Oak of Moreth. At that time, the Canaanites, our knights, were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, It is to your descendants that I will give this land. So Abram built a, there an altar for the Lord, who had appeared to him. From there he moved on to the mountainous district east of Bethel, where he pitched his tent, with Bethel to the west and I to the east. There he built an altar to the Lord and invoked the name of the Lord. Then Abram made his way stage by stage to the Negev. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Happy the people the Lord has chosen as his own. Happy, happy the, the people, people the Lord has chosen as his own. They are happy whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own. From the heavens the Lord looks forth, he sees all the children of men. Happy, happy the, the people the Lord has chosen as his own. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Happy the people, people the Lord, Lord has chosen as his own. Our soul is waiting for the Lord. The Lord is our help and our shield. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Happy the, the people, people the Lord, the Lord has chosen, chosen as his own. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word is truth, O Lord. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia. And Lord, be in our hearts and our lips, you may proclaim this gospel worthily and well. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Because the judgments you give are the judgments you will get, and the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given. Why do you observe the splinter in your brother's eye and never notice the plank in your own? How dare you say to your brother, let me take the splinter out of your eye, when all the time there's a plank in your own? Hypocrite, take the plank out of your own eye first, and then you will see clearly enough to take the splinter out of your brother's eye. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord said to Abraham, Leave your country, your family, and your father's house. Abraham was 75 years old when he left Haran. His father's family had moved there from Ur the Chaldeans. They had moved because Abram's brother, confusingly also called Haran, had died, and in the words of the Jewish historian Josephus, now Terah hating Chaldea on account of his mourning for Haran, they all removed to Haran of Mesopotamia, where Terah died. Abram, or Abraham, as all three faiths, Judaism, Christianity and Islam now know him, was the starting point of all three faiths. So why was he selected? For the full story of why Abram left Haran, you have to go to the Antiquities of the Jews, written by the Jewish historian Josephus, 
and to the Quran, dictated the, dictated the Prophet Muhammad, blessing and peace be upon him. And it is this. Abraham had realized that there is one true God and that the collections of gods were irrelevant. And that is the foundation of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Josephus recounts at length Abraham's arguments with the Chaldeans about there being only one God. And the Quran re uh, recounts this debate in many places. All 12 chapters in the Bible about, of Genesis about the doings of Abraham are all dependent on this original step that he realized and publicly acknowledged that there is only one God. If he had not taken that momentous step, we would have heard no more of Abraham other than in genealogies. Listen to Josephus on Abraham. He was a person of great sagacity, both of understanding all things and persuading his hearers, and not mistaken in his opinions, for which reason he began to have higher notions of virtue than others had. And he determined to renew and change the opinion all men ha happened to have concerning God. For he was the first to venture to publish this notion that there was but one God, the creator of the universe. For which doctrines, when the Chaldeans and other people of Mesopotamia raised a tumult against him, he thought fit to leave that country and at the command and by the assistance of God, he came and lived in the land of Canaan. In the Quran, there are many references to Abraham, but five stand out where he asserted there is only one God in direct opposition to his own father. In one, he says, And when Abraham said to his father, Father, why worships that thou that which neither hears nor sees, and of it nor avails thee anything? Father, there has come to me knowledge such as came not to thee. So follow me, and I will guide thee on the right path. Now I will go apart for you, you and what you call, call upon, apart from God. So he went apart from them, and what they were serving apart from God. And again, in another place, he said to his father and to his people, What are these statues unto which you are cleaving? They said, We found our fathers serving them. He said, then assuredly you and your fathers have been in manifest error. And they turned against Abraham with violence. That we Christians believe that God is a trinity, uh, God is a trinity was revealed to us very much later. But that does not diminish our belief in one God. The opening of today's reading is the curtain raiser for the settlement of Abraham in what became the Holy Land for the Jews, for us, and for Muslims. And for all our differences, it all started with today's first reading, or as it appears in the Quran. And when Abraham said to his father and his people, surely I am quit of that what you serve, except him who originated me, and he will guide me. And he made it a word enduring among his posterity. And that is reflected in our faith today.